Greetings and welcome to a Drawing Stuff with Paul Yateman video. Today is the tail end of a live stream from the weekend which concludes with me drawing a praying mantis either peering over the top of or riding a satellite. As the time lapse of my drawing progresses I will discuss a little about what I am doing and perhaps why. Hi there, I am Paul Yateman, a scientist by day and an illustrator and graphic designer by night. Here I draw stuff, mostly original characters. In these videos I show the drawing process that occurs typically after the thumbnail development stage through to the completed work. That normally involves a pencil sketch, inking with fine liner and finally colouring using markers, pencil and sometimes Photoshop. Mostly I offer these up as time lapses, mostly. Now and then I'll live stream. If this sounds like something that would float your boat or provide you with inspiration, sketch ideas or instruction, activate the subscribe button and hit like right now. Also comment with feedback or requests. Okay, where am I up to in the time lapse? I am currently applying fine liner. So I've lightly gone through with pencil, I've applied some fine liner and then with the colouring that is a mix of markers and pencil and a little bit of Copics. Uh, the inspiration for this drawing came from a collage I made way way back in either grade 6 or grade 7. Uh, so this one came out of a picture of a praying mantis and a picture of a satellite. So the satellite originally was fairly dark with lots of uh, highlighting on it thanks to its position I guess in space and the lighting. Uh, you will notice the praying mantis here has sort of disjointed arms. Uh, if this was reality they'd be coming out of the back of the praying mantis. But who knows that could be the case because it's a big space praying mantis. Uh, in reality the, the source image has the body of the praying mantis uh, and the arms separate. And, paste it onto the piece of paper. Originally when I was colouring in the satellite I thought it was going to look pretty manky uh, but the overall effect I think because I've gone for a minimalistic design it comes out okay. Uh, when I was drawing the I guess mouth part, mouth part to the praying mantis that was originally going to be all black but with the little light bit in the middle that sort of implies that it's like this side to side mandible thing. Uh, the favourite part of this when I was drawing it was the antenna and the eyes. The eyes because I've sort of done some nice shading on them and the, the little pupil dots work out quite well. And the antenna uh, when I drew those some little bit of green arcs with a fine liner all the way along sort of gives that structure. So it makes you think that they're segmented. Coming in the praying mantis was a few different uh, Derwent pencils. I wasn't too much of a fan of the olives, so I stuck with the sort of the brighter or greener greens, I guess you could say. Uh, with the satellite itself, the only thing it didn't really work out too well was the yellow, I guess, gold band in the middle of it, uh, which is very, very flat. And the gel pen didn't work very well because I find they don't work well on pencil, which might just be me or it might be the thing. Uh, anyway, that's the, the main drawing done. I decided to add a few extra details to some other things and do some smudging and yeah, that's pretty much it. So what do you think? How would you have drawn something like this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining or you were, you were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook, subscribe to my channel, like the video, consider sharing it and all that other stuff. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman, also known as the Arty Alien. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.